hello everyone it's kritika from it rebels and today in this video uh, we'll be seeing how to record a mp3 audio uh, from inside our web web application and then convert it into base 64 so we can pass it to our api and then it will be saved in database so in this vi video in this project we will be using react uh, we are using class based because it, in functional uh, it's very easy there are many uh, packages which will help you directly but in uh, class based uh, there is called mic recorder to mp3 uh, we are going to use this and then convert it into base64 then we will see how to do that let's get started first this is how our application will look uh, currently uh, so with this code i have already prepared a navigation bar and created a video before this video uh, you can view that uh, on in my channel audio recording component here a u t i audio recording okay let's import this done now let's install our dip copy paste done so we are using tailwind uh, for styling So let's see. We have already installed our uh, dependencies. Let's we have already imported it. Let's set the bit rate for our um, audio. To do that, use this MP3 recorder, mic recorder, and import our. mic recorder control is okay now then we can sh start with our state copy our state this is what we need uh, let's create a sh state here this dot set state okay format it format document with prettier nice then na i have rec using component did mount theek hai so we have to use component did mount because we want to do something when this component loads comp see component did mount and then can do this okay when this comp uh, page load we want to grant some permission like a user can record audio like this uh let's allow and audio recording is our component now let's see uh then we can use this one same control c and just paste it here save and this is how this will look okay record and stop record and stop and it's button so i am using tailwind so uh, it will uh, clear all the default styling uh, but if you uh, try this or without tailwind it will uh, display you like a button normal default button so you can style that button later so let's try for now let's style this c l a s class name 
class name and ame name is equals to btn okay mm, let's see h4 which is one ram uh, let's see uh, h eight i think it will be two ram nice h8 uh, w8 w8 eight so it will be square and then rounded full uh, oh, u n rounded full to make it circle then give a border p o r d a border border uh, 4 I guess border 4 border with 4 pixel and then B O R D your border Gray, gr, gray, blue, or maybe border. Let's say this border gray four hundred. I think this will do. Okay, let's change this record with an icon and 8 is uh, very small I think it will go 16 16 and let's change it to an icon re using react icon uh, let's record so choose a mic 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 uh, I will use five icons so I think this will be good choice Of I can import this react icon here and see the result okay uh, 16 is too big so I think 12 so uh, these are all the provisions I can get all the height and width and to get this I am using an extension called Tailwind in uh, Tailwind CSS intelligence so I am using it and Tailwind to get all this uh, suggestions so now I think uh, this will look better yeah height is nice dis play display sorry flex 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 item center item center means align item center and justify center to make it center on both axes I, okay start not start center This is how we can make it center then color text color T E X T text serial or color text wait text I think this will be text 800 I think this will be better okay for microphone and font size f and font size font okay wait 
text text size means uh, font size uh, it will be 1.12 rem so okay this will this is looking better then what can we give let's format this format document nice let's copy this styling control C and give it to the give it here and instead of stop let's make it stop 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 or maybe like this so let's see nice now let's say we can make it the class name CLS class name let's make it display FLEX flex then gap between them should be 4 and save nice this is looking better let's see if we can do it like this control x control v enter buttons all buttons should go inside this and we can also have a div here to display results display or uh, a result control s control let's format this document control this it's looking great let's change text gray to red r e d uh, R E D red because it's stop sign uh, instead of six, let's say 600 and border 4 to be border red 400 R E D red okay 600 okay it start and stop so let's uh, make it functional so to let's uh, copy this to make it start recording control C and we have to use this after above render nice and then we have to make something like stop control C so why I am uh, uploading this video because I used my complete day to this uh, to do this task and find this solution so I think if I can save someone time so it will be great for this video uh, if it helps you uh, please make sure you like this video and please do subscribe our channel for future updates so we already called this on click functions let's see uh, if this working or not okay let's see hello 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 stop okay start is working stop is working but we don't know if it's really working or not so how to uh, 
how to make sure that uh, what we are working on so hello 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 this is the same audio which we have recorded and we also get the option to download and playback speed okay so let's see if the button uh, we are getting is recorded right so if control c then is recording then uh, if this if it is recording then give stop control x control v else give this control x so now you can get this to if we are starting our recording uh, so it will start recording and then when we want to stop we can just stop it and our audio will get here let's play this audio so it will start recording and then when we want to stop we can just so this is how it works now uh, this guy help us to build this uh, very quickly so thanks to Mathesh Varan I think I can like this nice it helped us uh, then uh, we can just convert uh, this mp3 uh, audios to page 64 to do that uh, uh, we have a documentation here and we can use this one control C and paste on stop on stop buffer function bubble URL so we are getting this blob URL right so to instead after that let's see const a file uh, like a variable uh, will create a new file buffer and then I, I we think we can name it as audio my audio or you can just uh, add a template string here uh, template string or if you are getting some variable name like uh, audio so you can use this or prop dot or this or straight here but for me i think i can use a normal string audio audio dot mp3 then uh, what we have to do is type blob dot type which we uh, get like uh, mp3 uh, type is slash mp3 and last modified is this so we are getting an mp3 or uh, audio dot mp3 then uh, what we have to do is uh, we can convert this file into base 64 uh, it's just like a mp3 file with all of the audio recordings so let's convert this into base 64 to convert that let's see how to convert it uh, how to convert c o n v e r t convert uh, m p 3 to b a s e base 64 base 64 that's it uh, in javascript sorry in javascript yes. okay i think this will do function get async function audio to p64 nice this will do control c then uh, what after stop let's see this okay async let's change this to an arrow function with an async a s y a s y 
and C and then uh, it is we have to convert this uh, into an arrow function uh, or you can normally convert it and give some binding but I, I will prefer this so now let's call this one control C so it have a promise and it this is an async function so co copy this and we have to wait for this uh, file and then let's say let uh, our base base audio b a c base a u d i o audio uh, is equals to uh, audio 64 and we have to pass the file so this is our file and we are using class so we have to use this dot this audio to base 64 and this will not work because we are using and uh, it, it will take time to convert uh, audio to base 64 so we have to make it async uh, so this after then uh, there is an arrow from callback function so let's make it uh, make this callback function an async a s y n c async then what we have to do is uh, we have to make this await a w a i t await and we have to use let's console this blog c l g okay uh, base audio p a c base a u d i o audio base audio comma let's save and we are uh, we already have our node running that's it let's see what's the result so let's start recording hello hi uh, hi i'm kritik uh, from it rebels and today in this video we'll be learning about uh, how to record your own mp3 audio and then let's uh, then convert it into an base 64 uh, to pass it through an api uh, for your application that's it hello hi hi i'm kritik uh, from it rebels and today in this video we'll be learning about uh, how to record your own mp3 audio and then let's uh, then convert it into an base 64 uh, to pass it through an api uh, for your application that's it so this is what we have made and console logged uh, so this is what we have consoled base audio is this let's copy this and let's check base 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 64 to a u d i o so here we have got base 64 to audio converter let's paste this and we have some we added something on the top like console log okay decode this base 64 uh, I think hello hi hi I'm Kritik uh, from IT rebels and today in this video we'll be learning about uh, how to record your own mp3 audio and then let's uh, then convert it into an base 64 uh, to pass it through an API uh, for your application that's it so this is not some random uh, it's exactly the same audio which we have recorded uh, from our application 
so i think this will solve all your queries uh, how to use uh, how to record your own audio and uh, we can also preview this on our application and we can just convert it into base 64 and pass it through an api uh, you can just add some uh, post uh, ex action api calls after this once you get this base 64 or you can save it store uh, save it into a store uh, you can just save it into a state and pass it to a parent component and then use it somewhere else so i think this is how we can uh, solve this and it took me a day to figure figure it out so that's why i'm making this video thank you skrithika signing off